Hello, hello again. Tony here, back on my channel once more. This time on a Saturday slot with what will be a periodically recurring segment on this channel called Combo Extenders. So within the last half year of me doing deck profiles, and more importantly, the combo proponent of those deck profiles, I received a ton of comments requesting that I do more of those combo videos, as well as pointers on how I could have done some of my past combos differently. Things like had I converted these two monsters into this different kind of extra deck play, or had I been playing these kind of cards, I could have taken my opening hand into an entirely different direction. Combo Extender is the segment that intends to focus on these specific things, looking at old and new combos and exploring the different possibilities that I could have taken these combos to achieve different varying boards for different varying plays. For our first video of this segment, the deck that we will be focusing on will be of a deck that I've most recently done a deck profile on in Drytrons. Not only because I believe Drytrons have so much more to showcase, but because in my last few combo videos, I had erroneously thought that I can special summon the monster that I equip with Union Carrier, even though Union Carrier states that I cannot special summon any monster of the same name as the one I equip with, thus making my combos a little inaccurate. See, even though both of those combos could have been fixed really easily had I just been playing and equipping a Dawn Knight instead of directly equipping a Drytron monster, I believe that the deck is flexible enough such that even without that specific line of play, I could have still made a pretty impressive board regardless. Furthermore, going back to what I believe this channel stands for in being educative and showcasing the best that a deck can be, I believe it's my personal responsibility to fix some of the mistakes I've made and showcase the highest potential this deck can be. Anyway, I've drawn on enough, without a further ado, let's get into the combos. Going back to our original combo that consisted of 1 Cyber Emergency, 1 Preparation of Rights, 1 Where Arf Thou, 1 Cyber Angel Benten, and 1 Chaos Space, the loss of the ability to use the Union Carrier play without a Dawn Knight means that we actually do have a bit of awkward typing issues in making that Herald of Mirage Light. However, I think even without the Union Carrier play, there is still a way to end on a very similarly powerful board. Starting from here, what I think I'm going to do is once again activate the Cyber Emergency to grab my Drychon Alpha Thuban. From there, these are going to go the same way. I'm going to activate the Chaos Space, send the Alpha Thuban to the graveyard to once again grab my Black Dragon. Then, getting the searches out of the way, I'm going to activate the effect of my Preparation Rites to grab another Benten. Then, I'm going to activate the effect of my Thuban in my graveyard, tripping one of my Cyber Angel Bentens to special summon it to the field. Searching with my Thuban this time, instead of the Medionis, I'm going to grab the third Cyber Angel Benten. From there, the Benten in my graveyard will trigger, and instead of grabbing what I usually grab in Chaos Vicuria, this time instead, I'm going to directly grab the Manju early. <coughs> From there, since I control level 1 monster, I can now activate the Where Arf Thou, and like before, I can grab my Gamma Altanen. Now this is where things might start to differ a bit. I'm going to immediately normal summon the Manju, and Manju is going to search me once again for my Medionis Drytron, but instead of now going into just Gamma directly, I'm going to activate the Medionis Drytron, tributing the Gamma Altanen in my hand to bring back the Cyber Angel Ben 10 to the field. From there, I'm going to then link away the Drytron Alpha Thuban directly into a Link Karibo. Then, since now I have once again both the Alpha Thuban and the Gamma Altanen in my graveyard, I can activate the effect of my Gamma Altanen, tripping the Ben 10 in my hand to special summon back the Ga uh, Gamma Altanen as well as the Alpha Thuban. This will then trigger the Ben 10 that I just tributed, allowing me to search for my Chaos Valkyria. From here, I'm then going to banish one of my Ben 10s in my graveyard to special summon out my Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, and then activate my Meteor Strytron, targeting one of my Drytron monsters to add it back to my hand. Then I'm going to proceed to link away the, the Ben 10, the Collapse Serpent, the Manju, as well as one of the Link Karibos to go into an Appaloosa instead. From here, my Black Dragon Collapse Serpent will trigger, allowing me to search for a White Dragon Wyver Burster. Going on from there, with the Appaloosa on the field, I know I'm now Nibiru proof, but I'm going to convert these two machine light monsters now into my Herald of Mirage Light. 
Remaining on my hand, I now have two additional extenders, so once again, now I'm going to banish the Black Dragon Clap Serpent to summon out my Wyvern Burster, and then banish a Manju to summon out my Chaos Valkyria, and then before I link the Wyvern Burst away, I'm going to activate the Chaos Space to put back the Clap Serpent to draw a card. Then, I'm going to link away the Valkyria and the Wyvern Burster to summon out my Predaverti Anaconda, triggering out the Wyvern Burster effect to grab me my Collapse Serpent. And then finally, I'm going to activate the effect of my Verti Anaconda, sending to the Graveyard once again my Red Eyes Fusion, as well as my Red Eyes Pieces, to summon out a Dragoons, of which then I will pass my turn. Now, while this board does end up on the same amount of advantage as the first time I did this combo, being a plus three, it is admittedly a slightly different board. Instead of having ending on the Medionis Draconis, I instead I've ended on a 4 Negate Appaloosa, which, depending on the situation, can be better or worse. However, what I do want to point out more importantly is that this combo board specifically showcases just how much of a reverse ritual deck Drytrons is. In this specific end board, I didn't make a single ritual monster that I intend to win with, and even though I do have the follow up to still make that Medionis Draconis, it is pretty apparent that in most cases I'm rather going to be ending up on generic extract monsters more than I do intend to end on ritual monsters to win the game. Now this same opening hand does take a pretty degenerate turn had instead of the Manju I had been playing a Vanity Ruler in my main deck instead. In the given case of playing Vanity Ruler, instead of making Appaloosa and then playing the game of responses, I can just summon Vanity Ruler instead and just floodgate my opponent until the end of the game. To achieve said board, the opening of this begins pretty much the same. I'm going to activate the Cyber Emergency to grab my Alpha Thuban and then send the Alpha Thuban from my hand to the graveyard for Chaos Space to grab my Black Dragon Collapse Serpent before summoning back the Alpha Thuban by tributing the Ben 10 to search for another Ben 10. Now this is where the first minor difference begins. Instead of searching for a Manju with my Benton, I'm going to activate Benton's effect to search for a Chaos Valkyria instead. From there, things proceed as normal. I'm going to activate the Where Arf Thou to grab my Gam Altanen and activate the second Preparation Rites to grab my Benton to my hand. But now this is where things truly get different. From there, I'm going to link away the Alpha Thuban to summon out my Link Karibo, and then instead of trying to find a way to get Gamma Altanen into the graveyard to bring it back instead, I'm going to directly activate its effect in its hand, sending a Ben 10 in my hand to the graveyard, and then bring back the Alpha Thuban. Ben 10 will now trigger, and now in this case, I'll grab my Vanity Ruler. From there, I'm going to banish one of my Ben 10s to summon out the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, and then I'm going to link away the Collapse Serpent and the Link Karibo away to make my Verte and Aconda. I'm going to trigger Black Dragon's effect, now grabbing a White Dragon to my hand, before then linking away both my Drytron monsters as Light Machines, thus being the same type and attribute, to summon out my Herald of Mirage Light. From there, I'm then going to banish the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent to special summon out my Wyvern Burster before then activating the effect on my Verti Anaconda, sending the Red Eyes Fusion as well as the Red Eyes Fusion materials to summon out my Red Eyes Dragoons. From there, I'm going to activate the effect of the Chaos Space in my graveyard, banishing it to put back the Black Dragon Clap Serpent to the top of my deck to draw a card. The reason you do this after activating the effect of Verte Anaconda is because you also don't want to accidentally draw into your Red Eyes Fusion or the Red Eyes Fusion materials, thus making your combo slightly awkward. Regardless, even though Verte Anaconda does lock you out of special summoning for the rest of the turn, it does not lock you out of normal summoning for that one time. So I'm going to tribute the White Dragon Wyvern Burster and the Verte Anaconda to normal summon the Vanity Ruler and then activate Wyvern Burster's effect in its graveyard to add the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. And now at this point, then I will pass my opponent to deal with this kind of board. Now, while this board does somehow end on one less advantage than the prior board I made with the same opening hand, it does end up on, let's not forget, a Vanity Ruler instead of a Appaloosa, with the Vanity Ruler potentially being much more powerful in a lot of situations compared to the Appaloosa. And what makes it extra strong is that backed up by that Vanity Ruler, you have a Dragoons and a Herald of Mirage Light for an Omni Negate as well as a Spell and Trap Negate, with that Herald of Mirage Light here if being run over, potentially adding back Ritual Pieces to my hand. Those Ritual Pieces will then guarantee that in the following turn I can make a Medionis, which combined with the pop that the Dragoons has and the 2700 attack of the Vanity Ruler is a guaranteed OTK.
Moving on to the second Hest hand that we opened in the last video, consisting of one Drychon Nova, one Cyber Angel Benten, one Where Art Thou, one Zeta Aldiba, and one Manju, it's actually quite possible to make the same if not a more powerful board despite not having the Union Carry combo. To start this combo off, I'm once again going to activate the Drychon Nova to pull out the Alpha Thuban from the deck before linking away the Alpha Thuban to summon out my Link Karima. From there, I'm going to bring back the Alpha Thuban from my graveyard by tripping the Ben 10 and using Alpha Thuban here to search for another Ben 10. Ben 10 will also trigger, allowing me to search for a second Ben 10, since Ben 10 can search Ben 10. Since I control a level 1 monster, I can now activate the Word Alpha Thou to grab the Gamma Altanen from my deck, before then activating Zeta Aldiba's effect, tripping the another Ben 10 in my hand to special summon it from my hand to the field. In doing so, I can then search for my Meteor Strytron. Ben 10 will then trigger, now this time grabbing me a Chaos Valkyria. From there, this is where things get interesting. I'm going to activate the Meteor Strytron, trimming the Gamma Altanian in my hand to bring back a Ben 10 from my graveyard, before then activating Meteor Strytron's effect in the graveyard, targeting one of my Drytron monsters, decreasing its attack by 1000 to add it back to my hand. The 1000 attack is pretty inconsequential since we're going to be linking all four of these monsters away to summon out a 4 negate Opelousa. From there, we're going to normal summon the Manju, activating Manju's effect to search for your Meteor's Draconids. And then we're going to activate the effect of the Gamma Altain in your graveyard, trimming the last Ben 10 in your hand to summon it back from the graveyard to the field, and then bring back an Alpha Dubin with it. Ben 10 will then trigger, allowing you to grab a Artifact Lance here to your hand. From there, we can activate the effect of Meteor's Drytron once more, treating both of your Drytron monsters to summon out your Meteor's Draconids from your hand, before then banishing one of the Ben Tens to summon out your Chaos Valkyria. And it's actually at this point now that we actually have two different ways to end the board. Now obviously, the fact that you have two monsters on the field means that you can always convert those two monsters into a Verte Anaconda, and then by extension, go into your Dragoon's play from there. However, it's important to note that both Chaos Valkyria and Manju are both light fairies, meaning that you also have access to Herald the Mirage Light at any point as well. Given the fact that Lancet is a fairy type, you can discard it for the effect of Herald Mirage Light to negate a spell, but the fact that Mirage Light does allow you to get back resources when it's destroyed can be more invaluable than just having a Dragoon on the field. And then it really comes down to just how you want to play the game. Do you foresee yourself going into a long grind game? Then it's probably easier to go into the Hair Mirage Light with the Spell and Trap Gate being able to stop control cards and getting you back resources for a slow grind play. However, if you see yourself ending the game in the following one or two turns, then Dragoons is definitely the way to go. Regardless though, even with either option, you still at worst have the ability to just activate Lancey and lock out certain decks without either negate. Going back to that same opening hand, there's actually an alternative route of combos that you can access. By foregoing the ritual option, you have the chance of ending up on the most optimal amount of extract and main deck negates available that isn't Draconids. To accomplish this, we're going to start off by activating the Drytron Nova to summon out the Alpha Thuban from the deck, of which we will then link away to summon out our Link Rebo. From there, we're going to bring back the Alpha Thuban, but instead of tributing the Ben 10, we're actually going to trigger the Zeta Aldiva instead. Our Alpha Thuban, upon being summoned, will then search for another Ben 10. From there, we're going to then tribute the Ben 10 in our hand to summon back the Zeta Aldiva, with Zeta Aldiba now searching for our Meteor Strytron. Our Ben 10 will then trigger, now allowing us to add our Chaos Valkyria. From there, since we control a level 1 monster, we can activate the effect of Where Arthal to grab the Gamma Altanen, and then, like before, we're going to activate the Meteor Strytron, triggering the Gamma Altanen to summon out from the graveyard one of our Bentens. We're then going to, like before, activate the Meteor Strytron effect, targeting one of our Strytron monsters to add the Meteors back to our hand before linking all four monsters away like we did last time to summon out the Appaloosa. From there, we're going to normal the Manju and then activate Manju's effect to search for another Ben 10, before then activating Gamma Altanen's effect, tributing one of the Ben 10s in our hand to summon back Gamma Altanen from our graveyard, and then bring back an Alpha Thuban. Lastly, we're then going to trigger the effect of Ben 10 to search for our Lancia, before then banishing the Ben 10 to special out the Chaos Valkyria, and converting two of these monsters, same type, same attribute, into a Herald of Mirage Light, and the remaining two monsters into a Verte Anaconda. From there, we're then going to activate the effect of Verte Anaconda, like always, sending the Red Eyes Fusion and the Red Eyes Fusion materials to summon out a Dragoons, of which we will then pass to our opponent. Now, let's do a quick head count here. 
Not only do we have the four negates available to us through our Appaloosa, but because we do have an extra fairy in our hand, we do have the spell and trap negate afforded to us by our Herald of Mirage Light. Furthermore, thanks to this dead ritual spell in our hand, we do have discard fodder for the Dragoon's Negate as well, but on top of all of that, we still have the Artifact Lantia that we can shotgun at any time to lock out certain decks. This combined with the fact that Herald and Mirage Light does get back us resources when it gets destroyed, we are almost guaranteed to go into a Meteor Strike when it's on the following turn for an OTK, essentially putting your opponent through 6 Negates, a Floodgate, and then an OTK on the following turn, all of that which they have to deal with. Now as I've said before, combo extender isn't necessarily just about looking at old combos, it's also about making new combos as well. And as per the usual, what I've done now is I've shuffled up the deck, we're going to draw a quick test hand and we're going to try to build another combo board from here. Anyway, with all that being said, let us begin. To start off, the hand that we'll be working with today is going to include one Preparation of Rites, one Drytron Nova, one Zeta Aldeba, one Gamma Altanen, and one Alpha Thuban. Okay, this is one of those rare hands where we do get to see all four Drytrons make an appearance, and that potentially leads to some very powerful boards on its own. I'm going to start off by activating that Preparation of Rites to grab that Essential Ben 10, before then also activating the effect of my Drytron Nova to dig for my remaining Drytron monster that I do not have in my hand in Delta Altaris. From there, I'm going to now link away the Delta Artaris to summon out a Link Karibo before then activating the effect of Delta Artaris, in this case, tripping the Alpha Thuban to put itself to the field. And since I have a Ritual Monster in my hand, I can reveal it for Delta Artaris' effect to now draw a card. And wow, we drew into Chaos Space as well. All right, I think you guys are now in for an even bigger treat than I thought you were initially in for. Uh, going back into the combo, from there I'm going to activate the effect of Alpha Thuban. In this case, I'm going to tribute the Zeta Aldeba. And Alpha Thuban now will grab me a Ritual Monster. In this case, I'm going to grab my Meteor Strakonids. Going from there, I'm now going to activate the effect of Zeta Aldeba as well, this time trimming the Ben 10 instead. This now allowing me to grab for my Ritual Spell in Meteor Strytron. From there, my Ben 10 will now trigger, and I'm going to use dry uh, Ben 10 in this case now to grab for my Manju. Going from there, I'm now going to normal summon the Manju, and then activate Manju's effect now to search for a Ben 10 in my hand once again. From there, I'm going to activate the effect of Chaos Space, discarding the Meteor's Draco Nids in my hand now to search for my Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. Going on from there, I'm then going to activate the effect of my Meteor Strytron, tripping the Gamma Altanen in my hand once again to summon out the Ben 10 from my graveyard. I'm then going to link the Ben 10 and the Manju away to summon out the first of my negates in Herald of Mirage Light. From there, I'm then going to activate the effect of my Chaos Serpent in my graveyard, banishing the Manju on my graveyard to special summon to the field, before which then I will activate Meteor's Drytron's effect in the graveyard, targeting one of my Drytrons to decrease by a thousand attack to add it to my hand. From there, I'm going to link away this weaker Drytron, the Collapse Serpent, one of my Drytron monsters, and then the Lynx Karibo to summon out my Appaloosa with four negates. I'm going to trigger the effect of Collapse Serpent in the graveyard to now grab for a White Dragon Wyvern Burster. Going on from there, I'm now going to activate the effect of my Gamma Altanen in the graveyard, tripping the last Ben 10 I have in my graveyard to bring it back from the graveyard, as well as another Drytron in my Alpha Thuban. My Ben 10 now will then trigger, in this case now, I think I'm going to go grab for my Lancia. Going on from there then, I'm then going to banish the Collapse Serpent in the graveyard to special summon out my Wyvern Burster before then activating Chaos Space's effect, putting back the Black Serpent into the bottom of the deck to draw a card. Going on from there, I'm then going to activate the Preparation of Rites since the ability is now available to me to grab the remaining Ben 10 from my deck. Wrapping things up from here, I'm going to activate the Meteor's Drytron effect, tripping two of my Drytrons to bring back the Meteor's Draconids from my graveyard, before then linking away the Collapsed Serpent and the remaining Drytron to summon out my Verte and Aconda, with my Wyvern Burster now triggering, allowing me to add back my Collapsed Serpent to my hand. Finally, I'm going to trigger the effect of my Verte and Aconda, sending the Red Eyes Fusion from my deck to the graveyard, along with its fusion materials, to summon out a Dragoon's 
of which now I will pass my turn to my opponent with. So let's just take a moment to bask in the glory that is this board. We start off with 4 negates off of our Appaloosa. Thanks to the fact that we have a bent in our hand, we can send to negate with our Herald of Mirage Light. Thanks to the dragon in our hand, we do have a random negate off of our Dragoons, but since we also made our Draconids off of 2 Drytron monsters, we do have a double send on our opponent's turn. This is all on top of the fact that we also still have a Lancey in hand to shut down a majority of the decks. And this, if anything, showcases just how versatile Drytrons can be. Opening enough pieces can let you see crazy boards like this, and sometimes it's just random cards that can make amazing boards out of nowhere. And that's going to do it for this episode of Combo Extender. Honestly, filming combo videos is still by far one of the most taxing things for me, and honestly, I don't think I could do this very often. So don't expect this content to be regular, but hope that this content comes out periodically as an interesting deck comes out. Regardless though, as I've demonstrated in this video, Drytron is one of those decks that have amazing fluid plays that can build boards out of practically whatever hand it opens. And whatever form it takes in the current meta will definitely see some great competitive opportunities. Anyway, my name is Tony Yang, this has been your episode of Combo Extender, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.